it's important for me as a salesperson not only to be able to identify different styles of people and understand how they're going to think and react and they want to buy, but it's important to understand my own style and how it's going to interact with that person's style. It's been said that as far back as 460 BC, Hippocrates had a behavior styles language. What most participants find in this program is that the integrity selling behavior styles descriptors, talkers, doers, controllers, and supporters are simple and easy to remember. Let's take a look at each style. They talk. They talk about everything. They talk about what's important, what's not important. They come out, they're excited to see us, shake our hands, how have you been, you know, how's the family? I mean, very, very chatty. Love the sound of their own voice. And they're usually wonderful people and incredibly engaging and glib and well-spoken. They like to express themselves. And by doing that, it makes them feel very close to who they're talking to. Talkers are people who are very enthusiastic. Talkers are very friendly, approachable, um, like a life of a party, happy-go-lucky people. They're tuned into emotions, so they want to see how you feel. Huggy, touchy, feely, interested in how you feel and, and the family and this and that and the other. They're going to be more apt to do business with somebody that uh, they like. Usually within the first 15 seconds, I'm their best friend, but sometimes it's hard to make that transition from that friendliness into an actual sales call. A doer, as the name implies, is someone who does things, gets things done. Not willing to chit-chat. Uh, does want to talk about themselves. A doer is a no-nonsense kind of person. I don't want to necessarily know all the details. If, if it's presented me properly and it sounds like a win, I'm impulsive, let's do it. Wants it done now, wants it done quickly. They don't mind making a decision and then sticking by it. Basically wants to be admired for the things he does. The doer, it's get it done, get it done, get it done. Controller, numbers oriented, um, not people focused, analytical, thinkers, data-oriented. Oh, they ask a lot of why questions. Why this? Why that? If this? If that? Wants to be in control of everything. They want to do it. With a controller, they want more factual information. The individual that is driven by data, driven by analysis, one of the things that always has jumped out at me about controllers was that they don't necessarily want to see all my animation and emotion. They may be a little bit emotionally disconnected, but they're just going to want the information straightforward. They're motivated, you know, obviously by respect. They want you to respect what they bring to the table. I'll get a lot further a lot faster if I just give them the facts. The supporters are they're easygoing, they, they're quite dependable, and they, um, they need time. They like consistency, and I think uh, they tend to fear change. He's not a risk taker. Cautious, very cautious. Uh, they, they are highly concerned, uh, concerned about safety data. Uh, they are, they're the ones that are a little more uh, reluctant to change. Laid back, they're just sort of low tone of voice. They don't walk very fast. You can't hurry them. And we support it to everybody. It's hard for them to make decisions. They don't like to be rushed. Uh, they don't like deadlines. They do not want to be pushed. They're not completely confident always whether they're making the best decision. So the sales process usually is elongated. But they're very committed and loyal people, so when they do make that decision, it's a firm decision for life. 